Alrighty, problem number two on this door. Um, the first part was the Cabo Simplex, but I'm going to break this up into two videos. I basically briefly went over it, um, but uh, the door, the bottom pivot was worn out. It is, well, it's not worn out, but it needed adjustment. This one was an interior door, so it's not constantly getting all the water and, and grime and crap in it. Um, so there's a really good chance that you can actually still get some adjustment out of it. A lot, if it's an exterior door, it's a toss up. I don't even bother trying to get an Allen head into the side of the, the little set screw that goes into the side. Every single one that I've ever tried to do is completely seized and broken and rusted and aluminum grips metal super hard. So I don't even bother with that. Uh, I just, and I, I adjusted the door without having to pull the door still charge the same because it's a door adjustment but just because i can go ahead and figure out how to get it done alone in five minutes doesn't mean that a glass company wouldn't have come out here and charged them pff, who knows how much it would have charged for two guys to come out or one guy to drop the door release the pivot fight with it spray it with a bunch of lube blah 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 anyways my way is put an airbag up under it lift the door up uh, 5 8 wrench. This one is custom shaved down, uh, like so. Blah. Okay, busy day, busy day. Phone calls are coming in. I don't know where I left off, but basically I took a belt sander and sanded this wrench super thin, thin enough to where I didn't think that it would damage the integrity because I know I'm really going to have to wrench on those uh, bottom pivots uh, in order to get them to adjust because they probably are seized in there and that set screw I know I'm never going to get out of there. So it's worth a shot at least, but use your airbag, whoosh, lift the door up, get your wrench in there, pop, 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 just get enough room to where you can get the wrench in there, adjust that sucker out. If I mean, pretty much, I just torque on it until it moves if it doesn't move and it's going to strip out then it strips out and you don't have that option you need to replace the pivot or put a continuous hinge or something else on there but as far as a quick easy fast five minute one man adjustment that you can charge a ton of money for that's your friend right there all right um so uh yeah definitely just lift that door up and then on top of that i uh go ahead and peen in i'll use an automatic punch and peen in the threads that's what i'm doing there that's what i'm showing you so that way that adjustment doesn't thread back down so for more information check out wayneslockshop.com come on guys this is free money free money go check out wayneslockshop if you haven't subscribed go do it now please thank you